What's up, Internet Basketball Junkies? Today we have another drill in our drill series. Go hit my Drills for High School Coaches playlist on my YouTube channel for more drills like this one. Today we have one-on-one -on -one guard, which is one of my favorite defensive drills. This is a disadvantaged wall-up drill to teach contesting without fouling. This is such a crucial skill for basketball and it is way under taught. The defense starts stationary about 10 feet away from the basket. The offense starts with a head start to pick up speed and a coach feeding them the ball on the move on their way to the basket. The defense's job is to neutralize the advantage of the offense by walling off the drive and contesting the shot to the best of their capability. The defender should not retreat. He should stand his ground and slide to the left or slide to the right to meet the offensive player. The defender cannot give ground and back up towards the basket. The defender wants to keep his hips square to the penetration instead of opening his hips and allowing the ball handler a downhill angle to the rim. So the defense is sliding one way or the other depending on how the offensive player moves and the defender cannot put his hands on the offensive player. If the defender puts his hands on the offensive player, they have to run after the rep. They need to meet the offensive player with body-to-body -body contact. The defense's job is not to stop the offense from scoring. Scoring is the outcome. They are to follow the process to make the shot as difficult as possible. After neutralizing the penetration, the defense needs to contest without fouling. Fouling in this drill is a sin. Hands go up, wall up, and try to force the offense to miss. Do not bail out the offensive player by fouling him on the shot. Make him make the shot. The defender wants to stay down on all shot attempts. We do not care about blocking the shot. Trying to block shots leads to fouling far too often. Make the offense make a tough shot, and if they miss, pursue the rebound, grab it, get into power position, and outlet it to a coach. These skills are so critical to salvaging these disadvantaged situations. Fouling is bad in these situations. It stops the game flow, adds a team foul, adds an individual foul, and gives the opponent an opportunity to score free points. Letting the offense score is obviously terrible too. But turning these situations into forcing the offense to make difficult shots over a contest without bailing them out by fouling or opening the hips to just allow them to score is worth about five points per game in my opinion. If you watch closely, your team will find themselves in these situations at least a few times a quarter, whether it's a downhill drive into a gap or in transition. Turning all of these situations into strong contests really adds up over the course of a game and over the course of a season. The offense has some points of emphasis too, even though this is a defensive drill. The number one thing the offense cannot do in this drill is take a pull up or a floater. They need to hunt for layups. They need to hunt for foul shots. Taking the pull up or floater is such a bailout to the defense in these situations. The offense wants to work on their shiftiness and work on their counterattack moves and work on their finishing concentration. Starting the drill with an advantage, the offense should be able to score, but with the defense using the principles we've already outlined, it should not be a layup with no one between the ball and the rim when the shot is attempted. All right, internet basketball junkies, as we take a break from this film, there's a few things that I need from you. One, if you're liking the content, make sure to give this video a like, make sure to share it with a friend, Make sure to hit the bell to get notifications and check and double check to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also, click the link in the description to my Selfi store. I have detailed basketball coaching content for sale, including a sample of documents to help you with your program's culture, a guide to the European ball screen offense, a sample of documents to help you with your program's organization, a strength conditioning guide for high school coaches, a guide to running a 1-2-1-1 diamond press, and my personal favorite document that I've ever written, the youth basketball curriculum, which is my spin on over a thousand pages of reading I did putting together a plan in place, progressing basketball players from first grade all the way until they graduate high school with age-appropriate skills, drills, and thoughts for coaches at each stage of development. All that and more, go visit my Selfie store. Thanks for breaking down this drill with me.